Well, yeah. And, you know, D.C. has had such a serious history of drug issues to the point where Marion Barry got caught smoking crack yeah. on camera while you were locked up. Yeah, exactly. I saw it. And then got reelected as mayor yeah, right, again. Right, right, right. Yeah. Did you have, did you have any connections to Marion Barry during your time? Yeah, the mayor, the mayor came through a few times. He <laughs> he came Rafael had knew him more better, but he uh yeah, he he was sneaking through. seriously. That's what it, that's what it was, man, you know? Yeah, man. So um yeah, he liked it. He liked it what he liked and uh God rest his soul. He was a good mayor, though, man. No matter what you say, he was a good-ass mayor, man, for the black people of uh, Washington, D.C., man. Murray and Burry. That's right. Well, he really loved the community. Yeah, he That's, loved the community, you know, man. I, I, have, I have connections to D.C. and the government yeah. in D.C. and people that knew him well. Yeah. And he just loved the people loved so the much people. that they said, well— we probably got a relative that had the same type of problems yeah, exactly. and we're willing yeah, to forget. Yeah, people could, people could relate to him, man. Him and his son, man. They came from that that same fabric, that cloth, man. And like you say, you look at him and say, man, I got an uncle that, that you know, dip and dab, but he's still doing his thing. But, man, I love the mayor, man. I love Murray Burry. My son loves him, man. He he, great mayor, man, you know? Yeah. Yeah, well, it was, wasn't it crazy at the time? It was You're crazy. Like, man, I, I'm, was, I'm selling crack to the mayor of D.C. <laughs> right now. Shit crazy. It was crazy, man. You're right. Everything you said right there, it was. It was. It made you scratch your head. So I can't believe this shit, man. It's happening, but it's happening. That's what it was, though, man. Yeah, rest rest his soul. Marion Barry. Yeah, rest in peace, Marion Barry. That's he passed right. away uh, some years ago. Yeah. Uh, he, was a, he was a hell of a character, though, yeah, for hell DC, of a character. man. That's the right thing. Hell of a right character. word. Hell of a character, yep. Well, uh, Tony Lewis Sr., man, I yeah. appreciate you coming in. You're fresh out, only a few days. Yeah, man. Uh, out of prison after doing 34 years. Yeah. And, um, you know, I think what, what I love so much about this interview is that you're not playing the victim mentality. You didn't say that no the government fuck. was out to nah. get me and it wasn't my fault. Nah. I had no other choice. You yeah. had choices back had then choices. and you decided to go down a certain route. Yeah. And because of the choices you made, that's what got you to 34 years. Yeah. And you understand the implications of it and you understand the implications of what you did. Exactly. And, and I want the young people to know not to do what I did, not to do. Come on to get this job with me, man. Let's let's do the legal shit, man. That's the only way in life. It's the only way, man. That's it, man. Right. And on top of it, what you got away with 34 years ago, you cannot get away with not even in close. 2023. Yes. There were no cell phones. They couldn't yeah, triangulate exactly. where you're from. There yeah. wasn't cameras on every street yeah. corner. That's why, I mean, the, the fact that, that you know, Rayful could tell the police about 20 murders, those would have been solved in 2023 very quickly. <laughs> I think so. And it's yeah. and that's what, that's what really the crime has went to is really – at least in our city, it's not so much of the drug selling, but it's the gun violence, the carjackings and the robberies. And and this is what we need to, and me and my son, we're going to be fight effortlessly to get the young people, man, to put them guns down. But in asking that, they need to have something to pick up, such as a job and such as uh, uh, opportunities, man, economic opportunities. And we asking our, biz our business community, our business owners, man, to give us guys who are either felons or ex-felons, give us a chance. Give us a shot, man. You won't be disappointed, man. We want to uh, we, we, we want to live an honest life, man. We want to put down the guns, man. That's what we want to do, man. Nobody feels safe. Yeah. And, and like you said, you're very lucky in the extent that you have a son with an organization that focuses on, you know, ex-felons exactly. and so forth. Exactly. For everyone else in your situation who comes out with a felony on their record, they can't get a job. They can't get an apartment. Right. Uh, they could legally be turned down yeah. for being an ex-felon from an apartment or a job. Right. It's not considered discrimination. Yeah. It's considered perfectly legal, yeah. which ultimately makes, you know, puts people in very bad situations. You then have to go live with a woman yeah. because she has an apartment in her name and now you're living under her roof. Yeah. She can kick you out whenever you want. You know, she ultimately... Wants to you will revert back to crime because there's you no other choice, man. You can't get a regular job and because you can't get hired. Can't. So and that's you what do I'm what saying. You do. That's why I'm talking it's to a, our business a, it's leaders. It's a forever punishment. A forever yep. punishment, man. And it's bad, bad for both sides. For legal people, for regular citizens, bad. And it's bad for the person who has to go back to putting that gun in his hand. And, and nobody wants violence, man. That shit is, is we, we got kids, we got women. It's, it's just no good, man.
I, I perfectly, you know, I totally agree because I feel like if you paid your debt to society, exactly. you should be able to turn yeah. the page yeah. and try to integrate back yeah. into society like every other citizen. Right. But that's not the way it works. It's not, it's not and, the way and I it think works. it's a broken system. Yeah. Man, you pretty you pretty good, man. I really I really enjoyed talking with you, man, because you put the facts out there, man. You uh you're not just one sided as some people, you know. But uh yeah, I really I really appreciate this, uh, sir, being here and you know. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Well, Tony Lewis Sr., man, I appreciate you coming okay. in and and I really love your outlook that okay. you have. You still have a lot of a lot a lot of years left in you to yeah, contribute I hope so. and, and to you know, trying, I mean, improve yeah. the city that once you you did not improve so exactly, much. Exactly, exactly. And uh, man, I wish you all the best. Okay, thank you, man. That's all what right. it is. Right. Peace.